Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing the new Erin Condren 2020-2021 Colorful Layers Vertical Life Planner to the 2019-2020 Colorful Vertical Kaleidoscope Pattern Planner. So I put my kaleidoscope cover back on just to kind of compare. I think that it's really difficult. I really love this layers pattern though. It's really, really grown on me. I did get an 18 month in the layers because I'm going to take out the weekly spreads and use the monthly spreads for pre-planning. And I did just get a 12 month academic year planner for our last year's planner. So I'm not going to compare the coil because the coil is bigger on this one. But other than that, they seem about the same. All right, let's get into the insides. So for the vellum pages, they're very similar. You just see there's the layer pattern versus the kaleidoscope pattern. Page wise, they seem very much the same. This one doesn't look as crisply white, but I think that is probably from the fact like it's got scuffs from being carried around and moved around and just used. So I think probably it's exactly the same, just the different patterns. So the title page, they've cleaned up a little bit. There's way more white space, although you can definitely see the layers pattern from the next page kind of shadowing through. Which I actually think looks kind of cool. It looks like it's this soft layers pattern underneath, but it is just shadow. So they removed the on the go phrase. Um, this, their logo is just obviously underneath that photo. Other than that, it looks the same. I would say that this print is a little bit smaller and they changed this font for This Is My Life and that's about it so there's it looks like they've shrank the writing on this page a little bit in size to give you more white space which i actually like because i normally this is actually pretty low decoration for me to just have one photo i usually like to put photos from the year on this page so i kind of like that there's going to be more space for that all right, so the quotes pages. I apologize for the light. It was cloudy and now the sun's coming out, so the light's going to change, but I want to keep going to get this filmed and uploaded for you. So the quotes pages are very similar. Here you have the kaleidoscope in the background. Here you have the layers. I do find it interesting. I noticed that the quotes are a little bit similar. So last year's was success means having the courage to become the person you believe you were meant to be. And this year it's have enough courage to start and enough heart to finish. I just, I kind of like it. I really like both quotes, but they're a little bit on the similar end. I don't know. And then you still have the two tabs and then you have the tabs on the side and these tabs are actually different colors. If you look at them, this year's is slightly lighter than last year's. So. That's, I'm just trying to note all the little changes they've made. Right, so I'm going to compare April to December for both planners, mostly because this page is mostly blank. Because, of course, everything got kind of cancelled for April. So they've added this layers header at the top, which I think it is just beautiful. And it's beautiful on the other side as well. You have the, like, pinks. And then very much you have just clean, empty space underneath. In this one, you have these kaleidoscope lines running through it. Now, I think there's enough room that I could put my key along the bottom if I wanted. I love that there's that space that if I wanted to draw a note underneath the month, I could. So other than that, the font is very similar. I'd say the size of the font is very similar. So I'd say that is pretty much the same. So they've made a couple changes to this page. First, these match the monthly colors. So this is July to December. While I think that in a way that's awesome, in a way I wish 
it wasn't like that because I have a July start planner so I would when I set mine up these are both the same page I did January to June on the second side so but I will probably set it up to match the colors but other than that they've taken away this kaleidoscope line and they've made it just this really thin line with the shaded inbox over top and they've made the headers significantly smaller like these headers that I made with my Cricut I don't think would fit in here so the words at the top the words at the top are the same um the other side says new beginning new mindset new focus and then on the side we have new start new intentions new results so the words are the same they've changed the font it's all caps this time they removed the colorful they made new colorful they've changed that and they've just added little colorful dots so I flipped to June because I haven't set up my June yet which is partially why I want to get this video out even though the lighting's not as nice as I would like it but getting into the planners they do have this light layers pattern which they've added to the top and the bottom it's just like a simple shadowing and then they've removed this hexagon I much prefer this just this simple header that's just a personal preference though and then they were both just blank lined pages and then for the quotes pages I mean I love this layers in the monthly colors I think it's so pretty so we still have the logo at the bottom left hand corner I think this one looks a little bit crisper a I think the color looks a little bit crisper you can see it's much truer to the tab color than the than this hexagon so personally I think I prefer this other than that the font looks a little bit different and they've removed the asterisks in between the month and the year and they've just put it like that but the font for the month and the year looks the same so I'm gonna have to do the next few pages a little bit differently because they've changed the layout and I know lots of people have talked about this and I'm still gonna talk about it but so I'm gonna take this year's away and we'll I'll show you what it was like last year and then we'll bring this year's back. So last year you would turn the page, then you would have the this like in the colorful, it was a blank space with a header and the kaleidoscope pattern around. Then you'd have the dashboard, and then you would have the monthly spread. And then you would get into your weekly spreads. I was one of those people who wanted the tab on the monthly spread. However, I did use the dashboard page because I like to use all the pages. I didn't feel it was necessary and most of the time I would like set it up and then I would kind of fall off the bandwagon and, and fill it up when I use this for habit tracker so I stopped doing that. I didn't look at it very often so I'm hoping in the new setup that maybe I'll use it more but and I know lots of people just glued the pages together so that it would open to the monthly spread I never did that though so as you can see I have a binder here and this is because I wanted to show you so there was lots of people who said they wanted the tab back on the monthly notes page as I mentioned I was completely one of those people so when they released the daily inserts for the binder in the fall of last year as part of their I guess calendar launch I guess you would say they changed that so what they did was you had you would have your daily which obviously I haven't set this up it hasn't happened but you would have your daily spread then you'd have a notes page, a notes page, then you'd have this kaleidoscope page, and then you'd have the dashboard, and the tab was on the dashboard, but when you flip the page, it would open to the monthly spread. So I really liked that setup. For me, that solved my problems. 
Now, I do realize to do it this way, we lost the quotes page and you just ended up with two lined notes pages, which I don't mind. I haven't, honestly, it wasn't until I was trying to figure out why they set it up the way they set it up in the life planner that they didn't set it up this way. I realized that you lost the quotes page doing it this way. So I prefer the line pages. I didn't notice. Presumably they noticed. So this was the way they set it up for the daily binder inserts. And so then on this year, you had the line notes page, the quotes page with the tab, which opened to the monthly spread, which I love. And then you have another line notes page, the dashboard, and then your weekly spread. Now I mentioned this in the hall because the dashboard backs onto your weekly spread. Like I can see the lines for Sunday. Yeah, I see. Yeah, for Sunday in my bar. But because the rest of the lines line up, that shadowing doesn't affect me at all, right? However, because the dashboard backs onto it, the shadowing from this layers pattern does shadow through and into, it enters my Monday box. So I do use stickers. I have a sticker shop. I love planning with stickers, but I do leave white space on my planner. So I'll put a sticker and then write directly on the paper. I feel like I'm always going to have to cover this up. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little picky. So I wish that the dashboard was in front of the monthly. But what I would love is if you had these two pages were up here, if that makes sense. But even if it was in front of the quotes page, I would be okay with that. If you had the like this page just went here, then you had the line notes page. I don't know, maybe it'd be too confusing, too many pages, but that would be my preference. I don't really like, I liked the monthly and then getting right into the weekly. I'm just not sure how I'm even gonna use this notes page now because of its location. But other than that, I think it's beautiful. So let's just look at the, calendar here and I will bring the kaleidoscope back in so we can look at it. So for the monthly spread they remove the kaleidoscope pattern and they've added in this layers pattern at the top. I think that this is going to be a little bit more difficult to cover. I think it's really pretty if you were going to leave it blank and not use a kit I think that it looks perfect. So, and I think they have to cater to that for sure. For the font, the font looks very similar. It's a little bit smaller in 2021 here than it is over here. And they removed the asterisks from in between and just brought them closer together. This font appears to be the same and the numbers are the same. Same with the holidays. And then we still have this bar along the bottom. It's just now matched to the monthly color scheme as opposed to the kaleidoscope. On the sidebar, they've removed the shading, which I'm really happy about personally. I just thought it was too much for me, but I like this crisp kind of clean blank note section. Other than that, the side looks the same. Okay, so the dashboard page, they've made this, the name of the month smaller, but they've added in the year, which I'm not sure. I kind of like how it looks, so I think I'm happy with that change. They removed the asterisks, which is fine with me, and I love that they removed the headers because in my life planner, I did put monthly goals here, but I always covered up birthdays. So I like that. I think here it's going to be a little bit harder to use 
a sticker. Like I usually use the square stickers that come in the back of the planner in there and it worked in here but I think because of this layers pattern it's not going to work. I might hand write it in or make stickers that are slightly smaller but I do love that you can just that I can just put whatever I want there not have it to cover it up. The bottom boxes look very much similar. They've moved so they used dotted lines here and here it was a solid line. And I believe they've changed the hexagons to circles and that's a common kind of change that they made throughout the planner is where they used little hexagons as accents, they've switched it to just circles. This, looking at the dot grid, I think this might be a smaller dot grid than this one. I think the dots are closer together, if that makes sense. And I think there's more rows. So there's definitely more rows. So, something to note. Alright, the weekly spread. So I wanted to open it up to a page that was all the same month, so that the color was all the same. So, right off the top, they've removed the hexagon at the top. And they've moved the calendar up there from down here. Now, I really like this change because I think I'm going to get more sidebar. I didn't used to bother covering this up, but I did cover up the calendar. I probably am going to still cover up the calendar, and so I'm going to have all the way to the bottom of the page for my sidebar. And I actually, I laid down some stickers and I'll show how that looks at the end. They've definitely lightened the color shading, so I feel like the, like, quotes pages and the accent pages in the layers planner is much more vivid and then on the weekly layouts it's more muted so you can see it's much lighter and easier way easier to write over top of I also like they've made the headers the same size as opposed to having these skinny headers other than that the font looks very similar now for the monthly change, they've gone to a flag, which I think it used to be a flag. I can't remember for sure. From the hexagon. And then on the other side, very similar, except for the things that we talked about. Oh, I forgot to mention, they of course removed this extra header from the top there. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how they did the end of the planner and I'm going to show you what they did with kaleidoscope first and then I will bring the layers back in. So this was a academic planner so it ended with June so June 28th is a Sunday and so what they did was they gave you a notes page, a quotes page for July, the dashboard pages, a monthly spread for July and then they gave you a half page for that, those last two days of June, plus July 1st, so that you had the whole of June, and then you got into your notes pages. So for this year, the Layers Planner, the last full week of December is the 26th. You turn the page, and you have that extra week. Now, the 31st is a Friday, so they would give you, so they did give you both pages. But I like that it's just this extra week. I didn't need the extra dashboard and stuff. And you saw I use it to write down measurements and stuff, but I did write that stuff down in a notebook as well. So I didn't really need that. And then you get into the notes pages. And I did want to double check in my hourly, which is an academic year planner, that they did the same thing. So here we go. The last full week of June ends on the 27th. You turn the page and you get the full week, even though July 1st is a Thursday. So they could have done the, just the half page again, but they didn't. So for the notes pages in the kaleidoscope, you had three lined pages. Then you had four dot grid pages. Then you had coloring pages, two coloring pages. And then you had this like hexagon page. 
which, give me a second. And then I actually glued the next two pages together. So I'm just going to show them to you from my memory planner binder. You would have this hexagon page, which you see, I meant to use it as a savings and debt tracker in my memory or in my family binder. And I never did that because we made debt repayments and savings and I just never did that. And then you would have the contact page. And I actually do have some contacts, so I'm just covering them up. In the layers planner, you get 11 just line note sketches, which I like. I think, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them all, but I prefer them just to be line note sketches. That's my preference. Alright, so the two contacts pages. So this tab is different because it came out of a neutral, but other than that, it would be the same. You have very similar, the font seems the same. Again, as I mentioned before, they've changed the hexagons to the dots. This, I honestly can't remember if it was colorful in the colorful planner or not, but it is black here, but it looks like the font is the same. I would say it probably was colorful in the colorful version. I just can't remember because of course, I glued them together. Alright, so then for the the future planning spread, or the next year spread, so in this case it's 2021, and in this case it's 2022, the calendars are the same, the font appears to be the same, they've added this nice layers header and removed the kaleidoscope from in between. They've removed this in the coming year and just made it straight line so you can kind of write whatever you want. And they've changed the hexagons to circles. And then you have your kind of quotes pages where it's got about their website and all that stuff. And then you get into the stickers. So I'm just using my binder stickers just because I had more of them left. But they're exactly the same as what came in the back of my planner. So we still have three rows of five hexagons. I really loved these kaleidoscope hexagons and the layers ones are also really pretty. We had 11 teardrops here. We now have 12. Really, and I think they pretty much match the color scheme of the months, I want to say. Maybe, no, not quite. But, so we still have the teardrops. They just now have this gold foil instead of the asterisks. They've removed these flags and this arrow-like thing in terms of, in favor of these flags, which I love. I use these flags all the time, so I'm really happy with this change. Alright, so moving on to the next page. So on this page, we're seeing some differences. So they've removed the flags and we have these circles instead. These blank flags... For me, I have big writing, and so I found them a pain to write on because they were just a little bit too skinny. So I actually prefer pre-labeled for my personal preference. And I love these. I think they are so cute. And I wish I could do foiling. I just, I don't have a laser printer right now, but this is just too cute. I hope they release a sheet of just these. I would be all over that. And then, so instead of having just the foiled flag, and then this looks pretty much the same, the same number, the same colors of the habit trackers. Now this page, I'm really torn about. I loved these little seasonal icons, like the coffee cup and the little stocking. I just thought they were so cute. Now, I love that we've kept the cakes and the cupcakes and we actually have more we only had one row on this page we have two rows last year we only had one row of the happy birthday this year we have two rows which are great because I love these two I think I used all of them on my first set of stickers that came in the life planner then we've got two rows of celebrate and one row of let's party and the let's party looks a little bit larger to me 
So I love that and I love these. I feel like I will use them. Again, it's a similar style header to what I like to use, especially from Erin Condren because I usually want them to match the month. I'm sad that we're missing these. And I just loved these seasonal ones so much. They were so cute. So for me, the previous two pages, I'm happy, really happy with the changes. I prefer the layers one, but I think this page is still my favorite of these two. And then these, I use them a lot, as you can see, this page somehow got beaten up, but I'd already used a couple here. I use these a lot, especially in like my budget planner, stuff like that. So I'm glad again, same thing. They look very similar. They've removed the asterisks and put this line. And I heard on, I think, a live stream with Erin Condren, her set, so that people could put the times in there, which makes total sense for me. I probably won't do that, but I'm fine with it just being this really pretty silver line. Other than that, they're very similar. Both have six headers on them in each color section. The color sections look similar-ish, but again, as I've kind of mentioned with the layers in general, these colors are way more vivid, I think, than the kaleidoscope. So it's a similar color range. It matches the monthly colors, but these are more muted like in the kaleidoscope planner and these are more vivid like in the language planner so i think it's really pretty i like both and then you've got your pockets very much the same same texture same thickness i would say same quality different pattern now there is no foiling on the layers one and there was gold foiling here and then the perpetual count came with both the perpetual calendar, the insides look the same. The outside on this one for kaleidoscope had a kaleidoscope pattern, but honestly, I'm in the middle of moving and I think I've already packed it. So before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to show you how my sticker kits fit in the planner. So as you can see, the monthly, I did have to add a little bit of extra to the end just because of the rounded edge. I don't know, it, it just came out a little bit longer. Other than that, on the monthly spread, everything else continues to fit very nicely, exactly how I would want them to fit. And then on the weekly spread, I just laid out a bunch of my stickers, including some that haven't been released yet, like this one. But everything fits pretty much the same. As you can see, I get way more on the sidebar because my normal sidebar i'll show you just this random week in february that's just when i open to my normal sidebar i would fit a full checklist box a half checklist box two habit trackers and then the sticker covering the calendar and here i've got the full box covering the calendar I have a full box checklist, a half box checklist, and then this Monday through Sunday full box, and then the two habit trackers. So I'm actually really excited about that. I actually think I'm going to put one of these here maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But so you still get four boxes. You still get two, four quarter boxes, two half boxes. The full boxes fit nicely. The washi fits nicely. So I was really happy actually that everything seemed to work out and the headers fit nicely. So I just wanted to show you before I wrap this video up how the stickers fit in the planner. All right, so that is my comparison of the layers versus the kaleidoscope. I'm really happy with the layers planner as a whole. I really love the colors. I really love the pattern itself. I think it it is a beautiful planner and I'm so excited to get into it. I loved the kaleidoscope and I do like the improvements and most importantly, I love that they listen to what their customers have to say. I think that is so important, especially when you're really investing in a planner. I mean, I for a long, long time just bought cheap planners at Walmart, but I really 
keep coming back to Erin Condren because I think they really listen to feedback. They listen to what people have to say, and I really appreciate that. I think that's really considerate of them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am in the middle of a move, so videos, I know, are a little bit more all over the place, but I promise to be way more consistent once we get moved and into our new place and there will be moving vlogs and I've got a haul of buying a bunch of new stuff to completely restock out an apartment and so there's lots to look forward to so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you think about the new planner or if you picked a different planner all right thanks bye